Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today. Everybody. Welcome to Crash Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate it. We're going to continue on with the Hot Butcher beers, guys. Uh, uh, sent to me by Jeremiah, who's with Hot Butcher for the World. And as I said yesterday, they just picked up one of the Half Acre Breweries. Uh, and looking forward to them doing some really good things now that they're able to produce their own stuff. So I think they may have been maybe contract brewing somewhere up there. I'm not sure guys. I don't have that information. So uh, I thought all along that they had their own brewery, but evidently they didn't. So, And if they did, uh, they're expanding. So uh, that's a good thing for all of us. I hope the distribution will increase and it'll start going further and further away from uh, where it's brewed. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing, especially these guys. They do outstanding beers. Uh, you, not had a bad beer from these guys. So Jeremiah, once again, thanks my brother. I do appreciate all the wonderful beers you're sending my way. Uh, a lot of my subscribers are very jealous and comment, you're such a lucky SOB. So, uh, yes I am. I agree, I am. Uh, with uh, uh, the beers that are sent to me from the breweries and, and my subscribers, I feel very damn lucky. So, uh, and without them, uh, this would have ended a long time ago. Uh, <clears throat> This is the Florida Citrus Commission, a big beer, guys. This is a triple IPA, which is not a, really a recognized style, but they're just telling you it's a big beer. It's a ten and a half percenter, uh, and this one was put into package on 042121, April 21st of 2021. Uh, very colorful artwork that their uh, artist Dan uh, does. Uh, he does their. Uh, I guess their graphics and stuff for their labels. It's a heat shrunk label. They're not printing up the can. So big 16 ouncer with the heat shrunk label on it. It's got the ABV on it. It's got the hop they've used. The hops on this one is Simcoe Strata in NZH-102, which I guess is an experimental hop. Uh, it says and Phantasm. So we got four different hops in this. Uh, so should be very pleasant, but just remember it's a 10.5%. Uh, a big beer. Drink responsibly. Don't think you can go out and have two or three ten and a half percenters and drive somewhere. That would be stupid. Don't do it. That would be very, very foolish, guys. You might get lucky, then you might get very unlucky. So, is it worth it? No. Alright, let's get on with this. Ten and a half percent. We got the date. We got the hops. Let's get it in the glass. What do you think? Very hazy coming out of the can. Definitely looks like a New England style beer. Not super cloudy. A little swirly swirl. Very, I mean, if I set, seen this sitting on the shelf, it would be enough for me to stick the colorful artwork on it probably to pick it up. Especially since it has a date on the bottom of it and an ABV on the front of it. Uh, just a tad more than a finger of head. Very nice looking beer, guys. I can see a little bit of light through the thin part of the glass here on the bottom. Still close enough to me to be considering a New England style beer. Very cloudy, very hazy, but not quite to the orange juice haziness that a lot of them have, but still close enough to me. Good looking beer still. Through the nose we got. Very citrusy guy. I'm getting oranges and tangerines. Maybe a slight hint of pine, but the oranges and tangerines are standing out big time. Nice citrusy oranges. 
Mel's awesome. Uh, it's Davin. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Jeremiah. Everybody in the Hot Butcher for the world. Good luck, you guys. I wish you much success. As if you need any more. I mean, I'm looking forward to what's coming down the road from you guys. Well, awesome smelling beer. Cheers. Oh, yeah. A juice bomb. Little bit slight, ever so slight hint of some alcohol, but ten and a half percent. I mean, you can't pour a glass of bourbon and think, oh, this is not boozy. Really? That's tasty. Very citrusy, oranges, tangerines. Slight hint of some pine in there. Super delicious. This could actually be a sleeper, guys. Uh, this drink's so smooth, you might not realize you're drinking a ten and a half percenter. So just be careful. Uh, just be aware of the alcohol content of the beer you're drinking, especially if you're not drinking them at home. Uh, be real easy to get in trouble with a beer like this. So let's do the swirly swirl one more time and get the back end pour in there. Nice carbonation for a ten and a half percent beer. Very, very nice. So, very well done. Whoever the head brewery is there, it definitely knows what they are doing. Just like a lot of breweries, and uh, Krista and Brian at Parade, and, and uh, the brewers at Treehouse and Trillium and Vitamin C, and so many others that produce. I, and I'll put. Tilted Barn in there, and there's a lot of other uh, uh, alchemists, uh, Captain's Daughter. I mean, there's just so many. The list goes on and on and on now. The craft beers that are available now are tenfold better than they were 10, 12 years ago for a lot of breweries. I mean, there are some that still putting out a lot of transitional craft, especially the ones around here. But uh, there's a lot of them that are producing everything that they're producing. It's just outstanding, very tasty, worth picking up. Just to try it. You know, if you like it, buy more. And if you don't like it, you, you bought one beer. So uh, hopefully your state allows you to buy singles. Uh, but like I said, the, don't know what the distribution area is for this beer yet. And hoping it's going to increase with that new addition to them buying a half acre brewery there so let's uh let's go sip on this right out of the fridge and we'll be back and see where it ends up all right guys i'm back i've been sipping on it probably about an hour hour and a half now definitely up to room temperature uh very tasty beer slight ever so slight hint of alcohol to me uh but nothing off putting no burning or anything like that awesome beer it's very very tasty I mean this could easily be a 10 to me guys uh, the only thing that's keeping me from giving it to 10 is it's not quite as cloudy as a lot of the New England styles are and you know, I'm just judging it it's not claiming to be a New England style on the can anywhere uh, I'm just judging it for what it is and it's just my opinion uh, and take that with a grain of salt so uh, I would definitely buy this beer if I could get it here guys just like most of their stuff uh, uh, super tasty super well made very enjoyable for a big beer uh, a great final beer of the evening which it is for me uh, very very tasty nice citrusy orange tangerine notes in it to me uh, very pleasant <sighs> awesome aroma yeah, it doesn't have that mango and all that tropical fruit notes and I'm not getting any peaches or any anything like that. But for what I'm tasting, the oranges and the tangerine and a little bit of pine, very, very pleasant. Final chug. A solid A beer to me, guys.
most definitely 95 to me this is very very pleasant I was expecting just a tad more with uh, as many hops uh, uh, four different hops. I was expecting just a little bit more other than oranges and tangerines, but eh, that's what I'm getting. So, uh, you may be able to decipher something else out of it. Uh, that's where my palate is and what I am detecting anyway. So, with that being said, 95 for me, Beer Advocate doesn't have uh, any grades on it. Uh, not enough people have commented on that site. And Untapped has it at 4.29, which is a solid A beer in their grade and a thousand ninety one people have commented or given some kind of response back on the beer over a thousand or beer African doesn't even have ten so I don't see how that's like keeps keeps in business I'm surprised they they can afford to pay uh, the web fees to keep that site going it's just it's amazing to me but it is what it is so if you've had florida citrus commission from hot butcher for the world let me know what you think i thought it was damn tasty till we meet again let's go see what's in the fridge